This time, just a little short video or so, I hope, about my vintage fabrics. As always, uh, there's construction going on, so please ignore that. Um, yeah, let's just hop in. I haven't been really inspired lately to sew. Uh, I think it's mostly because I've been very busy with work. It's very funny because I made a video about my uh, mates in winter, which was quite a long video, I guess. I've made quite a few things. And I just realized it's almost summer. And if I had to make a video about what I made in spring, I think it would be like two dungarees, a dress and a shirt. Um, and that's all. It hasn't really been very much. I have so many fabrics and I keep on buying more. And I thought it was time to show you my new, new <laughs> vintage collection. And also, I need some more some dresses. I have been wearing this one quite a lot, last year as well. This is also a vintage fabric. It's one of my first vintage fabrics that I used. I bought this at the thrift store and I really love it. It's the dress by DIY Daisy, uh, the Maya dress I think. It's only retangles. It's very easy. It's it's perfect dress for a summer day like this. You just put it on and it's nice and breezy and I really love it. But I need more. Anyway. On to the vintage fabrics. I have quite a few but for the last few months and I honestly I need to get rid of them and for some I really don't have any clue what to do with that and this is where you guys come in are so I hope and I hope you can give me some inspiration. Uh, I'm just gonna start because I can ramble all night long. <laughs> First of all I got this. This is truly vintage. I've, um, I think two months ago I went to the thrift store and I had this whole vintage collection of like vintage games, vintage clothes and also vintage fabrics. That's amazing, like very 70s. I think this is like a maybe a tablecloth or something like that. It's very short, but I really love the print and I would love to incorporate it in something. Incorporate is that is that a word? I don't know. Anyway, but I'm not sure how. Maybe I should just make like a, a tote bag out of it or something. This is another one. It's very beautiful. Again, I love, love the print. Another tablecloth. This one is quite a bit larger. Such a beautiful, gorgeous print. And I really want to use that. But I'm not sure how yet. It's just so beautiful. And I want to use it in a way that really shows the, the prints with the chiles and dahlias. I think gorgeous, but I have no clue how to use this. Same story. I think these were curtains. And it's again not a lot of fabric, but it's thick material. So you can't really use it for a shirt or anything. It's more. It's more material for like a tote bag or pants, but it's mm, maybe shorts. Shorts could be good. Mm, interesting. And I have another one, and this one is really, really thick and heavy. It's more like a canvas than anything else. And that's this really gorgeous 70s orange tree like print. I really love it. It's really, again, very, very thick. Uh, I, I feel like this is a canvas kind of uh, fabric and I was thinking I could either make again some pair of dungarees out of this or maybe a jumpsuit. I have bought recently the Blanc Blanca, Blanca flight suit. Okay, I'm not sure when this is gonna stop. It's been going on for a while. I'm back quickly now before construction begins again. Anyway, um, I also got this, which is a very beautiful, well, in Dutch we say vitrage, something you hang before the windows. 
I really love the lace on this. And I think it would like make a very beautiful maybe skirt or something or maybe something a little more bridal inspired that I could use for my like a styled suit or anything. But that's that's another explanation. <laughs> I just got this, which is a well it's it's sort of a hippie kinda inspired fabric. Kind of India themed hippie-esque fabric. It's more of a cotton but not really a soft cotton, more like a sturdy, scratchy cotton. It's very large. I think it's like a circle and like a square. So it's quite a lot of fabric. And I'm not sure what to make of it yet. I was thinking about maybe a wrap top, um, but maybe it's also good for like a really long dress. I feel like with long sleeves, it would maybe be a little bit too 70s hippie-ish or maybe it could be kind of cool and the 70s and hippie-ish I really don't know I really don't know what to use for this or a kimono could also be nice maybe but then again I have already made quite a lot of kimonos and I don't really wear them all hmm anyway this is just something I have no clue why I got this. It's also, I realized later on, quite bleached from, I think, the sun. So the coloring is a little uneven, but it's quite a lot of fabric. A few meters, I guess, and it is it is kind of cute. Maybe this could be for, it make for a little jumpsuit or anything. That could also be cute, but again, I've got a lot of jumpsuits. Then I got this fabric. I might have shown this before. I'm not sure because this, this has been in my stash for quite a little while. Also a lot of fabric. Uh, it's green with white checkered. Checkers, checkers, checkered, checkered. <laughs> Squares. <laughs> this is like some sort of, well, it's not really king hand, but like checkered fabric green and white it's very soft I'm not sure if, it might, if it's enough fabric for a dress I have no clue what to make with this then I have another one that's like an olive green sort of linen which I do really like it is also I do think it's quite enough fabric for like a wrap top I think this could be very cute with a wrap top I have only had the pattern for the Trudeau blouse, which is a wrap top, has a wrap top hat. But I really don't like that pattern. I just cannot work with it. And it's also so short. So if you have any suggestions for a good wrap top, let me know. It is a bed sheet, and I think it's a homemade bed sheet. Um, and it's just very simple. The flowers, it's very cute. It's also very, very new. So I don't think it has been really used. Like sometimes bed sheets are very washed out. This, this isn't at all. But yeah, what to do with it? Blue flower, blue cute little flowers. And then one of my favorites that I just recently bought is this one. It's a curtain, again, me and my curtains. And it has very large blue, like tulips on them. And it's very thick. Again, so I feel like this could either be uh, like a jacket or a jumpsuit, like a denim suit, or more like a dungarees, more that kind of thing. It's very sturdy, again. So, but I do really love it. This is really my color, this blue. It does look a little washed out already. I am honestly curious what you would make with these kind of things because I'm a little uninspired and I don't want to make like 10 pairs of dungarees dungarees anyway or whatever and never wear them <laughs> so maybe you have another idea because at this point I have way too many clothes and way too much fabric and I need to get rid of it so yeah please let me know in the comments which is your favorite and what you would make with it because I'm very, very curious once again and I am in dire need of some inspiration. So yeah, thank you for watching and for watching my rant. 
I always say this is a short video and then it turns out to be like 15 minutes. Oh, sorry. So yeah, thanks.